soon. So come along with me today as I share with you six freezer meals that your family will love and is totally kid friendly. I use two chicken breasts and split them up into fours. You'll need two onions chopped and then for the spices I use two teaspoons ground cumin, two teaspoons dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons cayenne pepper, and four cloves of garlic minced. Next you're going to need five cans of great northern beans, two cans of diced green chili, as you can see here I had four cans of chili but I only used two, and three cans of chicken broth, and then you're going to need a cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. I knew that this chili would make two freezer meals, so the easiest thing for me to do was dump everything into one bowl. And then add the chicken to the bag separately and then just start scooping in the ingredients to each of the bags as evenly as I could. Once I did that, I evenly distributed the chicken broth between the two meals. And then I sealed up the bags as best as I could, got all the air out, and that is the white chili. Okay, you will need parsley, your favorite sauce, jumbo shells, two eggs, ricotta cheese, this was the big jar, I think it was like around 32 ounces or I don't even know. Just grab the biggest jar and you'll need mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. With this recipe, it's all about taste, so just add as much as of whatever you want in it. Add a little bit of sauce to the bottom of your pan and then just start stuffing the shells full of the cheese mixture. Then add the sauce on top of the shells and then top the shells with some mozzarella cheese. Then just wrap up your pan and write on it what it is and how long to bake it for. I usually bake mine for frozen, usually go a little bit longer. So I'll bake it for up to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Just check it to see if it's warm through. Okay, for the cranberry chicken, you're gonna need four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I have three huge breasts, and all I did was cut them in half. You'll need one 16 ounce can of whole berry cranberry sauce, one cup of creamy French dressing, and this bottle was eight ounces, one envelope of onion soup mix. Combine all the ingredients together, mix them up, Pour them over the chicken. If you're going to be putting this in the crock pot, you can cook it on high for four to five hours. If you want to cook this in the oven, you'll bake it uncovered at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay, for the chicken pillows, you are going to need eight ounces of cream cheese softened, four tablespoons of unsalted butter softened, one half teaspoon onion powder, one and one half teaspoons dried chives, two green onions sliced, two cups of cooked shredded chicken, salt and pepper, two packages of crescent rolls, one fourth cup butter melted, one half cup panko crumbs, and one half cup Italian bread crumbs. In a large bowl, you're gonna cream the butter and the cream cheese together until it is smooth. And then you're gonna mix in the onion powder, chives, green onion, and shredded chicken. And then you're gonna salt and pepper it to taste. Then you're gonna unroll the crescent dough, fill in some of the filling, and you're gonna pinch it all together, it does not have to be pretty and perfect. You just want to pinch the dough together so that the chicken's not falling out, and voila. Mm -hmm. 
In a bowl, combine the panko and Italian breadcrumbs and then dip each chicken pillow in the melted butter or brush it with a pastry brush and then roll the, it into the crumb mixture. Place all the chicken pillows into a pan or something that you could put into the freezer. I just put it in another aluminum pan that I had and then I just froze these for about an hour and then I ended up putting them in a Ziploc bag with a chicken gravy packet in the bag. And you make the chicken gravy and pour it over the chicken pockets after they come out of the oven. And you will bake them for 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown. Okay, for the garlic and ginger beef, you're gonna need two to three pounds of beef. I used sirloin that was very thin and then I cut it into strips. Then you'll need one large green bell pepper cut into strips, one eight ounce can of water chestnuts, one cup of soy sauce, one cup of honey, six heaping tablespoons of minced garlic, a heaping tablespoon of grated ginger root, or one tablespoon minced ginger. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mix all the ingredients together Pour the mixture over the beef, green peppers, and water chestnuts in the bag. When you cook this in your cock pot, cook it on low for five hours. Then you can add fresh green beans to the beef mixture and cook it for an additional hour and serve it with rice. For the pesto ranch chicken thighs, you're gonna need eight boneless skinless chicken thighs, a six ounce jar of pesto, one package of ranch dressing mix, or if you're using the container kind like I'm using, you'll need three tablespoons and one half cup of chicken broth. Mix the ranch in with the pesto, then add the chicken broth. Pour over your chicken thighs and zip up in a Ziploc bag, so easy. You're going to add this to your crock pot, cook it on high for three to four hours, or low for six to eight hours. We love serving this with mashed potatoes in salad. So good. Well, thanks for joining me, you guys. You too can do freezer meals. It's all about just preparing and just being ready. And I'm gonna have a video really soon on 10 tips on doing freezer meals. So that will help you out. Don't be afraid, just dive into it. Do one meal at a time. Um, you can even take a leftover meal and double it and freeze it. But I am having a video, like I said, very shortly coming to you on tips to help you be successful at freezer meals. All right, thanks for joining me today, you guys. You have an awesome week, and we'll see you later. Bye.